When a dental procedure is finished, you need to prepare the contaminated instruments for sterilization in the instrument processing room. Remove your contaminated gloves, wash your hands, and put on clean gloves. Remove the air water tip, suctions, and handpiece, and place on the tray with the used instruments. Carry the tray to the instrument processing area and place in the cleaning area. Now, remove those gloves and wash your hands again. Put on puncture-resistant utility gloves to protect your hands from sharps. Place all contaminated waste in the designated biohazard waste containers. It's important to pre-clean instruments before they're sterilized. Start by rinsing the instruments under running water to remove any large debris. Place all instruments except the handpieces in the ultrasonic cleaner and turn it on. While you're waiting, remove the tray liner and dispose of it in the appropriate waste. Thoroughly disinfect the tray. After the ultrasonic cleaner has finished its cycle, remove the cleaned instruments and rinse them under tap water. Place the wet instruments on a towel and gently pat to remove excess water. Sterile instruments should be packaged or wrapped to protect them from becoming contaminated after sterilization. The most common sterilization packaging options are self-sealing or heat-sealed bags and paper wraps. Package sets of instruments together as they'll be needed. Label each package with a sterilization date and method. Now we'll look at the sterilizing process itself. First, how to sterilize using an autoclave. To use the autoclave, place the pre-cleaned instruments in heat-resistant pouches. Most packaging has process indicators built in, but place an indicator into the bags if necessary. Put the packages in the autoclave, making sure to leave space between each item. Check and fill the fluid line with distilled water. Clean the sink with a disinfectant wipe. Wash the utility gloves, towel them dry, and place in the designated area. Wash and dry your hands, then shut the autoclave door. Run the autoclave cycle according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Thank you.